Ah yes, the tech apocalypse. Every year, it creeps in slowly, disguised as a friendly little update notification on your phone or computer. One click and bam, your formerly fast and obedient gadget now performs like it's stuck in a tar pit. Suddenly, apps take forever to open, videos buffer like it's 2006, and your battery dies faster than your interest in a terms and conditions agreement. Naturally, your only option is to replace it, right? I mean, your device is old, like iPhone 11 old, practically stone age, right? Wrong! Welcome to the Debunkers, where we take a sledgehammer of facts to the carefully constructed lies that companies love to whisper into your ear. Like the one that says your gadgets are just outdated and you need the latest model to survive. Because let's be honest, your phone didn't wake up one day and decide to hate you. It was programmed to, yes, we're talking about planned obsolescence. The beautiful business model where products are designed to fail just soon enough to make you think it's your fault but don't worry, your friendly neighborhood tech giant has a new version ready to sell you for only $1,299.99 plus tax and maybe your soul. This practice isn't even new. Let's roll back to the 1920s. Yes, the era of jazz, flappers, and the Phoebus cartel. This was a literal agreement among light bulb manufacturers, including Osram, Philips, GE, and others. They realized their bulbs were just too darn good. So good, in fact, that they lasted tens of thousands of hours. Problem? People weren't buying more bulbs. So they got together and decided to limit bulb lifespan to around a thousand hours. That's right, planned obsolescence was born in the glow of a shorter lived filament. It wasn't innovation, it was pure sales strategy. Let's rewind to a simpler time. Remember the 2016 Apple scandal? You know, when Apple admitted, after being dragged through a courtroom in the press, that they were intentionally slowing down older iPhones through software updates? The reason? allegedly to prevent unexpected shutdowns due to aging batteries, because nothing says consumer care like making your device feel like it's been hit with a tranquilizer dart. Oh, and they forgot to mention it to users. Whoops! This little stunt cost Apple a class action lawsuit and a $500 million settlement. But hey, they added a battery health feature afterwards, so we're cool now, right? Not exactly. The trust damage was done. And the myth that devices naturally degrade because of time, not design, was exposed for the calculated nonsense it really is. Now let's talk about a 2011 iMac that we still use. That's right, a 14-year-old machine that according to Apple should be spending its retirement years in a dusty garage next to a VCR and an AOL CD. Apple won't let it run the latest version of Mac, OS, nor Chrome, or many modern apps. In the Apple ecosystem, it's basically Amish. But thanks to the heroic nerds behind OpenCore, a community project that allows older Macs to run modern software, this iMac is running the latest Mac, OS like a champ proof that the machine is still capable. The only thing outdated here is Apple's willingness to support it. Still not convinced? Think about Grandpa's TV. That thing worked flawlessly for 40 years. His fridge, 50 years of chilling like a pro. What changed? Did physics get more demanding? Did 1080p become too sophisticated for yesterday's circuits? Nope. What changed was the corporate strategy. Make things harder to repair. Stop supporting older software. Make batteries non-removable. Make you feel like your phone from three years ago is an embarrassing relic. Also, you keep buying again and again and again. And we haven't even touched the iPhone battery shenanigans. Your phone slows down and suddenly can't hold a charge right after a new model launches. Coincidence? Not according to reality. It's all done via software, giving your phone a mysterious midlife crisis. But hey, you could just replace the battery, right? You could, if it wasn't glued inside like a state secret. Or if the software didn't continue to hobble your phone anyway. So what can you do besides scream into the void? For starters, don't upgrade out of panic. If your device still works, you don't need to toss it just because it's not the latest Instagram status symbol. Look into software solutions like OpenCore for Macs, Lineage OS for Androids, and good old Linux for pretty much everything. Replace your batteries, upgrade your RAM when possible. Learn the dark arts of DIY repairs, or find a local repair shop that hasn't been sued by Apple yet. And next time an update comes out and your gadget suddenly develops the personality of a hungover sloth, ask yourself, is this progress or a corporate nudge toward the checkout counter? Like this rant-fueled revelation? Hit that like button like it owes you money, subscribe to the debunkers so you never fall for consumer BS again, and drop a comment with the oldest tech you still use. Let's see who wins the My Device is Older Than Some Influencers Award. Remember, you're not outdated, just inconveniently aware.